Kaduna State INEC has recorded the highest number of online registrants in the northern region and third largest in physical registration across the country. They say the gen stride was attributed to the efforts of stakeholders in sensitizing the voters on the importance of elections in communities in the state. Our correspondent Habilai Darufai filed in this report as presented from our studios. Few months to general elections, INEC has set the ball rolling to deliver free and credible elections. Speaking at the stakeholders' meeting at the INEC State Secretariat in Kaduna, the resident electoral commissioner, Hajia Asmao Meikudi, said Kaduna topped in the northern part of Nigeria on the ongoing online voters' registration with 486,589 registrants and the third in fiscal registration across the country. She stated that INEC has created additional 2,910 polling units in the state to ease election process and make it convenient for voters to cast their votes, with 8,012 polling units against the initial 5,102 units. Also, voter enrollment device would replace the smart card reader at the 2023 general elections to eliminate the possibility of voting by identity theft, as well as using another person's permanent voter's card to vote. The commission reminds the political parties to imbibe that ideology of inclusivity by creating a level playing field for the youth, women and persons with disabilities to participate fully in the electoral process particularly in elective offices. It is only by doing this that every segment of the society will feel the impact of freedom of participation and representation in the governance of our country and to contribute to their quota, especially now with the upcoming 2023 general elections. I would like to appeal for decorum in the conduct of all primaries. Your conduct during the primaries will be the litmus test of what to expect during the general elections. The technology combines both facial and fingerprint identification of the voters to curb the issue of multiple voting. She lamented that about 37.4% of the new registration in the state was invalid. She then called on all stakeholders to assist in educating Nigerians and electorate against multiple registration in the state. INEC is always engaging with its stakeholders. We need them to make INEC's work easier. And we thought that this is the last quarter of the CVR. And also that there's the Electoral Act 2022 as amended has been signed. And political parties are right now doing their congresses and their primaries. Some of the political parties expressed delight in INEC as it remains committed to delivering credible election ahead 2023. This is a very good move by the INEC because they bring some certain issues, particularly the new law that, that was been enacted by the National Assembly and it has been uh, in total speak uh, to the political parties so that we can know our stand and our position and to know where we should take corrections and to be aware fully of the, what affects the INEC in terms of the conduct of the 2023 general election. Those in attendance were representatives of political parties, NGOs, CSOs, security agencies, the media, religious and traditional heads, among other stakeholders. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.